Still we have go beyond Konate, who oh, blocks his bar and will walk. Deeper and deeper the Liverpool peril. He's made some important saves tonight for Chelsea Petrovic, despite being at fault for the goal. Took array of the player down, Ben White looking at him. Well, now in these final few minutes, we're going to find out just how much Arsenal have matured. Richarlison has got to be careful not to lose his head at a time when Spurs are on the brink of a famous recovery. He's followed by Gabriel. And the big centre-back was so calm there. And then there's a collision involving Gabriel and Ducore. Looking off a lot, and eventually he's got a yellow card. Oh, what a clearance! And the goalkeeper there, Samba, gathers eventually. And the Samantha's involving Nelson, but what a chance for Arsenal to equalise. It's a clever build up. Arsenal desperate defending. Tom Laws had a few angry heads in that penalty area. Gabriel Jesus. Really not happy about something. It's going to get there ahead of Martinelli. Only foul. But see if you look at the run Martinelli makes. Grace doesn't play it. Grace puts too much on the pass. He's still alive. And the far post. Ramsdale with a push away. And uh, frustration starting to boil over. Socek wasn't happy. against Kai Havertz. It's going to break here though for Odegaard. It's in! It might be a foul. It might be a foul. But even if it's not, the finish is ridiculous. He knows what's going on in front of him and he just lifts it over. They'll probably have a look at it. Pepe might get pulled back. That's what they'll have a look at. This is just the game involved. City's free kick. Amos from one of the back from Jesus. It was not a kind exchange. Absolutely mad. Just when it was simmering anyway, he has brought it to the boil. What is he doing? I mean, Arsenal got pretty decent control of the game with him without the ball. And the last thing you want to do is pull with the bear. Declan Rice trying to calm things down. He was never there, it was a stupid challenge. These things are routinely checked, and this is being. Flicked on by him, and then I think a couple of them are thrown so close. Actually, took each other out yeah. in there. Minute to be added on. Pepe down again. He's in the walls at the moment. Well, the referee just took a few seconds to get the with a scissors motion. Arsenal are incensed by that. Yellow for the Uruguay. Well, he certainly won the ball, and I think he did win the ball. I think it's the trailing leg that the referee didn't like. Arsenal players are getting round the referee because he's going to give him a yellow card anyway, and then he kicked the ball away. Gabriel, here's Richarlison with Saliba at his back, giving away the free kick, and Richarlison reacts and goes head to head with Declan Rice. Yeah, will Rice right get booked? Maybe just with a kick away the ball. He's just going to talk to me.
This is a good pre-season for him. Saka, wow, in goes Martinez, and the referee now is trying his patience, and now it's kicking off a little bit. Oh, now, Martinez going in with that challenge. And Arsenal didn't like it. I don't mind that. I'm all in favour of that. Yeah, I don't mind that. And I think when you see it again, you'll... The guard with the ball across. Havertz is in there. Ketia stabs it towards goal, but so it's come off a hand, I think. It's not going to count. The referee indicated handball, and uh, Havertz and Pau Torres are squaring up to each other. I think it might have come off the hand of Kai Havertz. Yeah, it looks like it does. Coming in, in behind cash. Late nights, long the referee's patience might be tested here. I think a yellow's coming. For the first booking. Notice that Spurs left back, and that could be dangerous now against Saka. Yeah, Romero's had one or two tackles, Adogi's had a couple as well. That one looked a little bit more forceful. That's a shot there from Kai Havertz. And the Porto players immediately react to that. And Clement Turpan immediately sends Conce Sao away. Havertz with a shrug of the shoulders. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, Havertz was clearly second best of that. Piled into Amy Martinez. All gets a little bit unnecessary, but from the point of view of Martinez, it was totally unnecessary action from Kai Havertz. But it's that the situation that has to find themselves in the game because you know if anyone's going to make the most out of it, it's going to be that man, Emmy Mart Martinez. He'll go head to head, he knows what he's doing. He's playing with the clock. It's that from Havertz. Havertz has got it again here. 
has to hold it. He's tucked back by Rodri. Rodri's given away a free kick. And that might well be another yellow card. Point involving Jorginho. Well, Arsenal was saying the ball should be kicked out. That's what the air is saying. Barcelona carried on playing, and that's why Jorginho came across, and he shouldn't do. Yes. Jorginho bullish. By Jesus, he dispossessed Pedro Porro. He's wrestling with Saar. It's going to be a card for Pap Saar. Yeah, this stops the promising attack. Not the only card. One there for Bissou. Right. Off the ball then. Again, between Gibberice and Jorginho. That was the... The Swedish referee decided that was a deliberate act, and he's uh, shown a yellow card to Kane. Well, he's having a look into it. The referee saw a degree of physical contact that he didn't like, and blew fair. Mariano Diaz is in there. They have four in the box there, Sevilla. They're really committing numbers forward and asking questions of Arsenal. He's entangled with Gabriel again, centre circle, and he's furious. I think he's entitled to be, and he's going to get booked for his reaction, Nunez, I think. 13 goals in total this season for Nicholas Jackson, 10 of them in the Premier League, but tends to miss a few, doesn't he, as well? I mean, you can see where the, the growth is in him. There's a yellow, Kukurea in the end. Corner, he's not seen it. Oh no, that was That's poor decision. Really poor decision. Neuer gets a left hand on him. Of his time in France. It's a high foot there right in front of the referee from Jorginho. And it's a yellow card. It's losing a little bit of the grip. It's a yes round. three games here, all defeats, but all under very cautious coaches. Nuno, Mourinho, Conte. Very different mindset nowadays. Words being exchanged. He's got plenty up with him. Evan Ilsen's one of them. Evan Ilsen's gone down. Clement Turpin says no free kick this time. I'll tell you, Fletch, Jorginho lets him run on there. He really does. He lets Pepe run away from him. And he was fortunate. Tavio was firm there on Saka. I think the decision. Yes. Over goes Saka. Goretzka the offender. Like you say, if you just stand still and put your arms down by your side, you usually get away with it. Free kick 
in favour of uh, Van Dijk, and it's becoming tempestuous here. He's our second. Wilson. Real has gone down and stayed down, but Arsenal play on. If you like, but again, a useful squad player, or is he a player who they might look to move on? Interesting. Maguire. Is he getting a yellow? That's a bit hard for us to tell. Yeah. Invincibles for Arsenal, and they haven't lost here since November, which is a 10 game sequence and have seemingly saved some of their best form for the Champions League this season. And there's February, the last two against Borussia Dortmund and Heiden Heiden in the weekend. They've only kept one clean sheet in 14 games now in all competitions, and of course, that's a big concern. They're there by Saliba, it's on them by Havertz, who was caught as he played it by Gruich. Painful one there. Jez gets to the challenge of Zinchenko. One back well done by Jesus, and the free kick has been given to Porto. He felt the challenge was just a fraction high. And Borges is down and punishing the Arsenal so slick and sharp. A lot of the best stuff's coming down the right hand side, there's no doubt about that. Involving Odegaard Sack and indeed Ben White.